Good morning. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. And today I thought just for fun, we would follow around one of my kids. So I get a lot of questions from people curious um, about what our teenagers do day to day. We follow a delight directed learning approach. Uh, there's a lot more of what some people might call unschooling. Um, basically by the time my kids are in teenagers, I can see the things in them that are passions beginning to develop, uh, skills that they have, things that they are really interested in and get excited about. And so those are the, the things that I want to encourage in them. And so rather than use up hours and hours of my teenagers days doing a lot of book work, table work, and all of the different subjects, I like them to have just a basic understanding of the different academics so that they can then take those basic skills and go ahead to start excelling now in the area of interest that um, is what God designed them to do. Some of my kids are more intellect. They love the writing and the reading and those are the things that they're going to really work on because it's just who they are. Some of my kids are really hands-on and very good at crafting and doing things with their hands. Some of them have more of a, you know, just an entrepreneurial bent to where they're just seeing opportunities of ways to um, make money through something that they came up with. All different personalities here. It's so fun to watch. I think once kids hit 11 or 12, um, generally you can kind of see those things begin to emerge where you're like, hmm, I am noticing that you are really good at, you know, whatever. And it's just fun. So Silas volunteered to be uh, the guy that we shadowed today. He is 14 and he is very good with his hands. He's the one that I was telling you about who's just, you know, if he gets excited about it and picks it up and starts to practice it, um, he's probably going to excel at it because that is just his gifting. So daily, I require just a basic requirement of math and language arts um, areas that I feel like I want him to continue practicing basic skills so that he has those um, but then I allow him the rest of the day for free time to work on those things that are a passion to him. We were on vacation last week and we had our teaching textbooks um, math paused. So this is a very useful feature with teaching textbooks, which is what Silas uses for math. He's in algebra this year. And you're able to pause for a week or more at a time. Um, are you wanting to give your two cents on this, huh? So you're able to pause um, just like we did last week when we went on vacation. Now, today is our first day back. So Silas is in algebra one this year and uh, just working through that. This program has been really good for him. Once you get to the high school years, teaching textbooks takes hard concepts and they explain them in kind of a friendly way so they don't feel so scary. If your kid gets really stuck, they actually have a helpline that you can call for, to talk to a real person, a real live tutor um, that could kind of walk you through things. So if there's something that the child doesn't understand and the parent can't help them with, and there's that extra lifeline as well. The Teaching Textbooks app can be put on any device. So you can put it on tablets, you can even put it on your phone, although that would be really small, or you can continue to do Teaching Textbooks on the computer. They also have a feature which I personally appreciate um, that you can shut off Wi-Fi and work. How many lessons is it, Silas? I think six. Six, I think so. That you, it'll kind of like auto download six lessons. But you have to accept it when you're downloading. Yes, when you first sign up for Teaching Texas, when you're first um, loading it onto whatever device it is, say yes, we want to be able to work offline or you know accept downloads. Because then while your child is working, you can turn that device on airplane mode. So there's no uh, nothing coming through. I am all about um, using devices while they're on airplane mode. I do not like my kid holding a device while the Wi-Fi is connected. And so I love it that Teaching Textbooks has made that possible that you don't need to be connected to Wi-Fi. You could, you know, take it on the road, in the car, in the doctor's office, whatever, and not need any connection at all. It's just every six lessons or however, I think it's six, um, then you would connect and download the next six. 
They do have other features with it. They have an ebook which has the complete um, explanations of everything that's talked about in the lecture. So you can go, go back and look through the ebook. Um, every day, parents will get an email saying that the child completed the lesson and what their score was. So you can kind of access it that way if you don't want to constantly log in and see how they're doing. They also have a scratch pad. So if you're on a, a tablet, like we have an old iPad that we have teaching textbooks on, and they have a scratch pad where you can actually do your work on there. Otherwise, we'd use like a dry erase board with a dry erase marker to work out problems that need to actually be written out in longhand. Also, what's really helpful is more of the word problems. There's right if it has it, but right next to the like what it says, what problem to the left of it, it has a little number, and then you can like this one's oh, e. a little letter. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, and then yeah. you go to lecture and problems, and then you go to the e, and it's a little different, but it gives you the same. Right, so it will show you with that practice, um, it will show you a similar word problem to the one that you're doing in your actual um, lesson. Teaching textbooks is the only math curriculum that I know of that does all your grading and your teaching and it's like an all-in-one package. All you do is get that year subscription and your child is good to go. I recommend that you try out the free trial because you can actually try out all the lessons if you want. It's the first 15 lessons of each grade level is what's available. Now, what I do recommend when you go and check out that free trial is to remember that the beginning of each level is um, kind of giving you a, a step in from where the last year was. So it's going to start out a little bit easier at the beginning and then get harder. So what I recommend in addition to trying those lessons to see if it's kind of your child likes the flow of the program is to also go to the table of contents and look through everything that's going to be taught in that particular level because that way you don't think, well, this is too easy for him about the first 15 lessons and we need to go a lot harder. I personally would rather give kids an easier math level level than a harder one so that it builds confidence for them. I'm not in a hurry for them to jump ahead to all of the upper level math that's available. Um, and the other thing that they do have is a placement test so you can have your child work through some problems and it will help place you in that way. So go ahead and check out my link so you can give it a try. Maybelle still hasn't had her calf. We're waiting. You can see. Hi, April. Hi, April. Yeah. You can see she's looking pretty round there. We're just waiting. But right next to where the cows hang out is the other workshop. I'm going to make a lighter case. Are you? It's going to be pretty cool. This is the leather workshop. Silas so spends a lot of time here, as do the other boys. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very cool place. Um, and often, whenever I, I can't find him, when he evades me, that was one of his um, vocabulary words today. <laughs> I was like, oh, evading. When Silas needs to do Mom. some type of school item but Mom. disappears. That's for the boys, but me and Jeremiah. <laughs> Wait. Right there. Come in with so they have used this corner in the barn to set up an entire leather workshop. And Silas, this is like a really big deal for you because you say that in the future you would like to do the leather work yeah. for a money-making enterprise. Yeah. What is it about leather that you like so much? Well, I like working with my hands. Mm -hmm. And leather's fun to work with. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Say no. Yes. That's one of the surprise things. This was one of um, my most recent stuff. A rifle holder that took up 
we only had one piece big enough and the leather must have went to like an elephant or something because it was, it was longer than me stretched out and then I just last night I put this clear this oh, out so and put it nice on for our right? big pieces yeah because that's that's nice for small pieces but this will be nice when we're rolling out the big pieces and I still have to clean up the walkway yeah I say and that Boy thing. I told Silas to go get some of his work. He's some put, of my most on. prized Stand position. up so I can see you. Okay, so this amazing holster is all I, I used a, I used a normal sewing machine for this because it's the really thin couch leather on the back and then normal black. So the limitation of the sewing machine is if the leather's too thick. Yeah, and I wouldn't hand sew it. This was hand sewn because it's mm -hmm. two layers of ultra thick hand black. Hand sewing is gorgeous. And then this is I my like nice a case for your hatchet. Yeah, I also made one for my grandpa back then. And then this and then also. Nice. Um, Are these rivets? Yeah, this is my most recent I made today. Um, I wet molded it so it shrinks to the lighter. That was just a so this is, old lighter this is blank. This your mold that you use. Yeah. So normally you'd put like a big lighter in there. Yeah. But you mold. That's it what that these one. are made for. Uh -huh. And this, it's still wet. You can see, because um, Leo says leave it overnight for um, to let it dry to mm -hmm. it. But I like how it feels rather than the other side of the leather. Yeah, it's really this I, Yeah. This I also used, um, you know, heavy duty rivets because that kept coming off. Then I just put the string on one day. Nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, That's see these were easy. the fancy rivets. I don't think they'll come off because they're, they're not holding mm -hmm. much stress items. And the why I double layered it is because I had the material mm -hmm. and otherwise I would feel this on the other side. Sure. And it wouldn't be. And this just makes it smooth. Yeah. yeah nice. Mm -hmm. This is all, um, you know, empty and, and mm -hmm. fake, by the way, just in case y'all were worried. <laughs> well, look. I like your cool duct tape handle or electrical tape. Yeah. So, Silas, you are a trooper when it comes to me having you do your schoolwork. Um, if you had a day completely to yourself to do whatever you wanted, what would it be? I uh, like uh, doing leather, doing woodcraft, practicing stuff on the trampoline. Mm -hmm. And um, probably playing western too. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Airsoft. Um, yeah, driving the four wheeler. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that seems about it. Oh, you need an I got my Oh. I can't find Silas. We're gonna go see where he is. I found him not where I expected him to be. Um, I was just after leather work. Yeah, I mentioned that we're, we're getting ready to have our annual fall festival. And the kids who are coming are, you know, they know that we have a marshal's office, a, an old western jail. And this is like the bank. And so Silas has been be getting, bank. it's going to be the bank. We have this a nice like, janky structure that was here when we bought the place. Yeah. And it's not being used for anything. So yeah, I didn't think I would find you here. Cleaning it out, getting ready for the kids. I mean, yeah. wow, you got some work to do. Yeah, yeah there's going to be a up. table in here. I'm going to have the cash register 
Okay, this is they actually built this teller's desk so that you can close it, right? So the yeah. But I had to clear all this. You can't close the door. It's a really cool Yeah, door. but it's, it's all crooked because the whole structure is like leaning a bunch. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about to uh, keep the catch register um, uh, rust free. I'm going to probably slap up some metal roofing for the sides. Like a wall? Yeah. And so their friends found a cash register at like a garage sale or something. An old Yard time. sale. Yard sale. And Silas? You're taking it apart to fix it. Did you ever? Um. That yeah. Project? Well, the drawer. It's it sticks like the latch to the drawer, and um, I haven't taken off. I took off the bottom and the drawer out, and there's the latch I found that sticks, but it pivots and goes up in there somewhere. So I'll have to take off like the sides in the back. I have no doubt that you can make it happen. So, in addition to leatherwork, Silas can build things. So, you know, like he just slaps stuff together like no big deal. I don't know. This was just an afternoon.